Hello everyone, welcome back to Bearware the Terrible. Today we have a new standard deck for you called Dirty Dollars. So in Dirty Dollars, we have our two cards. We are featuring again the Ride-On card with the Dirty Work attack from Unbroken Bonds. But today we are trying to make a standard deck from it. So Ride-On works well only if you are able to uh, get around the Giovanni's Exile card. So in this deck, we are not trying to make them. We are not trying to deck them out from the get-go. We are not trying to use dirty work as soon as possible, as we did in our expanded format. So if you if you haven't watched our expanded deck, please do. It's uh it features Rhydon and Magnezone, which allows you to use uh, two supporter cards on your turn. The Magnezone has a dual brains ability, allowing you to play two supporter cards on your turn. So for that deck, it's very different from this one. For this deck. We are trying to use Persian with the make them pay attack to stall our opponent as much as possible so that they so that they have no choice but to keep drawing cards but to keep uh, finding the cards that they need because we are trying to hamper them as much as possible. We are trying to obstruct their gameplay as much as possible so that they have no choice but to keep uh, decking themselves out in the process before we play our ride on card so this is our main card to begin with so make them pay allows us to discard our opponent's hand if they have four or more cards in their hand until they have four cards left so if your opponent has four or more cards in their hand they reveal their hand and if they have more than four cards you discard until they have four so that is what make them pay do so make them pay is the reason it's called dollars and dirty work is the reason it's called thirty dollars. So uh, to make this deck even more powerful, Persian is used in pair with uh, Theo, which allows us to push back, uh, uh, which forces our opponent to switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. And Dalar Mine. So Theo and Dalar Mine allows us to stall our opponent even more. Forcing them to either uh, find a switch or bird keeper from their deck. So Fuel and Dollar Mine forces them to look for a bird keeper, a switch, or a Mellow Lana or whatever switch card that they need, a scoop up net, whatever. So or even charge their Pokemon until they are able to retreat or find an air balloon or whatever. Or an ability that allows them to retreat freely. So that uh, those two cards allows us to uh, restrict our opponent in that way and make them pay allows us to discard any switch card they have in their hand but making us uh, uh, allowing us to control their hand for uh, you know making sure that they have a supporter card to draw even more cards we want to leave them with a few supporter cards or a few DDNG axes in their hand so that they are not suspicious so that they get to draw the cards that they need you know we want to give them that freedom without put placing a Rhyhorn in our bench early in the game we we don't want to get we don't want them to know that we are trying to deck them out with a Rhydon so that is why we do not want to place any Rhyhorn in the beginning of the game we do not want to be discarding any Giovanni's Exile we don't want to be uh, using those cards at the, at the beginning of the game we don't want to give out we don't want to give off our strategy of decking them out yet Right, we want to make sure that make them pay be, uh, starts off the game, and we want to make sure we restrict our opponent as much as possible. So, as I said, make them pay works well with Fion and Galarmine. And another card that we are trying, another combo we want to use in pair with the make them pay attack is the Crushing Hammer Team Yell combo. So, Crushing Hammer Team Yell restricts your opponent's energy cards attached to their Pokemon. Another uh, uh, and that also works well with Galarmine. So if they don't have enough energies, they can't retreat. And if they don't have enough switch cards, if they don't have Bird Keeper, Switch, or Mellow Lana in their hand, they also cannot switch. So make them pay Galarmine, Fion, Crushing Hammer, Team Yell. That is a very good obstructive strategy to make sure our opponent have no choice but to keep drawing more cards but to keep decking themselves out finding the right cards they need to attach energy fast enough to do damage to our pokemon to knock out persian which is their first uh, which is their main enemy to begin with persian is the main target for them we want to make persian the main target right we don't want to make ride on a target yet 
So once Persian is killed off, once we have done our, once Persian has done its work, right? Uh, we try to get out Raihorn, uh, a few Raihorns out just before Persian gets knocked out. We want to be, we want to be placing, uh, we want to be playing at least three Persians, at least three times of make them pays, probably more if they, if we are able to discard their energies and stall them with Galarmine. Probably we'll be able to play more, uh, attack more, use more of the make and pay attacks, right? With one Persian card, we would at least be able to do twice. So, uh, if we play our cards right. So, and then after that, after make and pay has done its job, we get out our ride on with our supporting cards. So, the supporting cards in this deck is Chinchino and Pidgeotto. So, Chinchino and Pidgeotto allows us to draw. Uh, a lot of cards. So we have, as you can see, six of these combo cards. We have two Chinchinos and four Pidgeotos with its matching basics. So that means we have, uh, we are, that means we are intending to place at least three, hopefully four, of these draw cards, of these ability, of these Pokemon cards with the ability that allow us to draw more cards. So that allows us to find the right cards that we need already. So that supports our Rhydon because Rhydon, as we all know, it's very, it's very difficult to play dirty work with the supporting effect of Giovanni Exile. It's very difficult to uh, evolve your Rhydon, charge it with two energies, and then play Giovanni's Exile on the same turn while preparing for your next Rhyhorn. So that is a very difficult thing to do if you don't have the right cards at hand or if you can't draw or find the right cards. So how do we draw the right? Uh, how do we draw and find the right cards? It's with Chinchino's ability and Pidgeotto's ability. So that is why at the beginning of the game we need to uh, we need to call out not just our Persian but also our Chinchinos and Pidgeotto's out very fast because we have no, as you can see, no Marnies, no supporter cards that allow us to draw cards that allow us to shuffle and reset our hand or prepare. For the next turn, we have no such supporter cards, no Professor's Research, no Marnie, no Blue's Tactics, no Hop, no any other, no Bird Keepers, and no uh, Janine or any other supporter cards like that. So not even a Poke Gear, as you can see. So we are relying solely on our Pokémon's ability to draw cards. So if they have a Galarian Weezing, then we are we have no choice but to use a Fion to push that Galarian Weezing out so that we can use our abilities to draw cards. So abilities are the only way we are going to find any cards that we need. So we have also a lot of evolution incenses to evolve our Persian, our, uh, you know, our Chinchinos, Pidgeotos, and our Rhydon as well. And we also have two Pokemon Communications for any uh, cards that we need. We have one Didin GX, we have two uh, Quick Balls and we have four Sonyas. So we have two Quick Balls, four Sonyas and one Gossifler to get out our Pidgeotos, our, to set up our bench as fast as possible, to get out our uh, Minchinos and Pidgeys uh, in the first few turns of our game, which is very, very important because that is the only way, as I said, that we are, we are going to draw cards. So uh, we have three Giovanni's Exile, we have one Hall Pad, we have one uh, Ordinary Rod, and we also have two Team Yell, two Crushing Hammers, two Galar Mines and Vions, and we have uh, four Twin Energies, one Triple Acceleration Energy, three Fighting Type Energy, and uh, the Pokemons are as follows, we have three of each Catterdays, sorry, we have three of each Meowths and uh, Meowth and Persians. We have three of each Rhyhorns and Rhydons, and we have two of each Minchinos and Chinchinos. We have four of each PGs and Pidgeotos. So that is all for the decklist, and we have one Pokemon Breeder as well to evolve faster. So that is all for the decklist, let's go on for a game.
we have a rod so I'm not too worried about the ride on but we are probably giving off the fact that we are using uh, dirty work now because they saw the ride on with the unbroken bonds uh, symbol but what am I gonna play let's get a Minchino I don't wanna uh, I don't need that Karaday too fast I keep calling it Karaday it's a Meowth uh, we have a Dedean, so that's good. We have two evolutions, so that's even better. But if they use a Marnie, obviously we'll have to find them back. Um, so they are using a Battle Sense. Hopefully, they are using a Battle Sense Charizard. If they are using that, then they are actually helping us uh, deck themselves out. And a Welder actually draw even more cards, so that's actually good for us. So in a mill deck, you can either mill your opponent to death with uh, discards, with your uh, attack discards, or by forcing them to draw more cards, or by them, by you know, by their own merit of drawing their own self, you know, drawing themselves to death. They can even do it themselves. You don't need to do it for them. So that's actually not a good idea. I shouldn't have done that really. Uh, I should have Dedean first. But let's let's play that. Just so uh, ho hold on a minute. Just so they have to use another welder or you know waste another energy on that Charmander. gonna be charging my Meowth already, preparing for my Mithen phase and get that one. Uh, I actually need an energy to do the switch because I have no switch cards, no scope up nets and it's that. No bird keeper, no nothing. Oh dear, they're gonna kill our Pichiotto, that's not good. Um, and they are gonna be able to kill Persian very easily with their Charizard. But hopefully they use enough battle sense because if they use it enough times, then they they do a lot of work for us. We don't need to force them to draw cards. They just discard a lot for us. If they use battle sense uh, two two times per turn, that already does a lot. So we can make them pay a lot right now which is very very good uh let's do a fion actually because it's there's a galar mine in play already i didn't realize that so fion actually does perfectly right now but if they have a switch then uh persian can make them pay to discard those switches so let's have let's have a pg let's check if we only have one Pidgeotto, no more, no Chinchinos. So that's actually bad. We can only get three, three of our Pidgeotto Chinchino combos as of now, but that's fine. Uh, let's get another Meow actually. And let's discard that one. Should have discarded the Breeder egg. That one. Uh, I should have. Uh, so many should have. I should have saved that bench spot for a PO before I played the map, but then you never know if you need to do that or the other thing. So I'm gonna pick out the switches. First thing to look for is a switch. Make sure they can't switch. So. I'm gonna discard this one as well, because that is gonna destroy our deck. And I'm gonna discard the Charmeleon. Okay, that's fine. You really have too many choices when you're using Make and Pay. You can't discard everything obviously, but you're forced to choose, you know. Three Leons, wow. <laughs> Wow. Did 
if, if they don't have a dean or a professor's research, those Leons would be pretty much useless in their hand, unless they're playing it. So it's good to think about Viahorn now. Uh, getting out Viahorn now. So if I can uh, use a Japanese Exile on that Dedean Jax, I probably would, but I wouldn't as of now. Maybe I can still find one. But I only have three Japanese Exile and one Hall Pad, and some of them could be in our price card, so that is important to note. It's better to use Exile when you're about to use Rhydon, so that, that's actually a smarter thing to do. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna Exile now. Let's just leave the Exile for now. Uh, yep, let's just do that. So let's see what we can discard now. Uh, I'll actually leave the rare can't no, because they could evolve their Charmander. We don't want that. Let's discard uh, the fire energies. Maybe one Sonia, because they're probably gonna Sonia a fire energy. Nah, yeah. Let's just. They could Sonia a Didine though. Let's just discard the Sonia, just in case they have a Orico Rio. But then. No, a Rikorio GX will not help us because we are not knocking them out. So if we don't knock out their uh, active Pokemon, if we don't knock out any of their Pokemons, then they don't get to activate Orikorio GX's ability, meaning they don't get to draw cards and they don't get to deck themselves out. Uh, but if they don't get to draw cards, then they wouldn't put it anyways. But they don't know that. They don't know that we are not knocking them out. So they are drawing, that's good, and they use an Alice there. Oh, an Alistair, uh, Alistair Leon combo. Not bad. Um, so we have to think about our Persian, our second Persian, and our Rhyhorn. Let's get, let's get an Exile. And let's discard that one. Okay, we have energies. I'm gonna get my second Persian. Okay, thank goodness it's in the deck. We have three Persians, so I'm not too worried. And we have a Rod, so I'm not too worried. Uh, Rhydon is there. We have Rhyhorns definitely in our deck. So I'm gonna discard... No, let's just leave the Dedean for now. Uh... I'm gonna attach one... No. I want to be keeping my twins. I don't want to be using too much twin energies. So let's discard the welder, obviously. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing we can do. Actually, we would be, it would be better to discard that one. Yeah, let's let's let them welder. If we let them welder, they can switch and kill our Persian. But then at least they can't do a reshuffle. If they shuffle back six, then that's a lot to a lot to discard. So I'd rather they uh, charge themselves and knock our Persian than us having to do more work. We probably have a rare candy now. I think we discarded the rare candy. Yep, we did. Oh, they have enough to retreat. And they use Battle Sense again. Perfect. Now we just need to keep discarding their Brock's Grit. Any Brock's Grit and uh, Ordinary Rods that they have or Lana's Fishing Rod that they have. I don't think there's any other supporter cards with Brock Grit's attack. Sorry, with Brock Grit's effect. Only a uh, Rod and Brock's Grid allows them to shuffle back cards into their deck. So let's get a Rhyhorn already. Let's get that one. Let's see if we can... We're probably gonna do a Fion again. Just... <laughs> yeah, Fion is perfect. Fion Galarmine. If they don't have a Chaotic Zone, no Stadium card, no Giant Heart apparently. If they have a giant heart, then they can switch easily. Because Charmander is only one uh, energy retreat cost. 
So we're gonna be preparing our Raya Horn already. I think I'm gonna get that one actually. Uh, I, I don't know. Should have actually gotten the other. Let's just discard our Sonia because we have a Pokecom anyways. I'm gonna Pokecom for a Rhyhorn. We only have one Rhyhorn. So I'm gonna Sonia for energies actually because I don't want to be wasting my twin. There we go. So no Rhyhorns, only one Rhyhorn. So that's the bad thing about this deck. Oh shit! I just knocked it out. Alright, no boss's order and no Alistair. Let's discard the energy. Because we actually want them to battle sense. So if they have another Charizard, hopefully they double battle sense. But I don't think they are gonna be that stupid to do uh, double battle sense in, in a turn because they they're already down to 10 cards in their deck and they saw our Rhydon and Rhyhorn so I think they should probably stop battle sensing now if they want to win because they are down to 4 price cards they might have a boss's order to kill our Dedean Jacks so we have to watch out for that that's all that we need to watch out for alright, their turn their, uh, their chance of winning is much lower now because we get to exile our Divinity X this turn. So that means no more double price cards drawing for them. And we get to discard that one and we get to Theon again. It would be wiser to use a third Persian, but I was afraid that I might not have another Persian. You know, that it might be in our price card. So let's try and actually let's just do that one. So the bad thing is we don't have a second Y horn. If we have a second Y horn, we can do another discard. So now they are down to two cards in their deck and they could possibly have a Brock's Grid, which is not good, a uh, Brock's Grid or a Rod, and they are probably not gonna battle sense, obviously, but <laughs> um, alright, that's good, they just wasted more cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, they have 6 cards left in their hand and deck, so what are they gonna do now? They can't retreat unless they have a switch or Bird Keeper, which probably they are not gonna do. Because Bird Keeper forces you to draw and we won the game. There we go, they deck themselves out. Alright, that was close. Because they could have a Brox Grid, they could have a Rod, and that could really screw us. And they, they have, I think, three or two price cards left? I think three. So, if they had a Brox Grid or more ordinary Rods, or if they used less Battle Sands, they may have won. Because we had, uh, as I said, three price cards left. And Charizards could kill very fast because they had enough Leons already in their deck. I mean, in their discard pile.
the Marnidas, which is actually good for us. Because we had a really, really bad hand. Okay, uh, Sonia and a Dean. That's good. sacrifice your hand, any cards from your hand. So, I don't think I can use my rod at all. So I'm gonna get a Chinchino. And then a Didin GX. Hopefully I have it, yep. Thank goodness. Then I'm gonna get my Meow. Uh, how am I gonna get my Meow? Let's get a Meow. That way. Scoop it up. Oh, I thought uh, Solomon's be nice. Gorman dies again. Right, they are obviously a beginner. Because they haven't attacked us yet, so that's very, very good for us. Uh, I almost attached that one. Let me get. So Greeter is useless now, we get to discard it with our make-do ability. So let's airmail first. Gossifer is useless. I mean, we've already set up our bench, so it's no longer useful to us. Unless we want to discard it with our make-do. We actually need a second Meow. Um, I'm gonna save this. Uh, Galar mine later, because Snorlax, as I said, is heavy enough. So let's discard the Mart. Actually, let's discard the Tartrix. Discard this too. It doesn't require that much energy, anyways. Cracking Shark only two energy, and they already have one attached, so there is no point discarding their energies. I'd rather prevent them from evolving. Oh, they're gonna charge other things. For the shield. I'm actually hoping they use Marnie. Oh, they use Gormandise. That's good for us. Uh, Gormandise not only draws them to death, but also helps us discard their hand and make them pay. And we even get to use a yell. Let's discard another Pichu. I think our rod is in the discard pile already. So, no more Pidgeotos. That's like we're done for Pidgeotos. I'm gonna put that back. Maybe that one? 
that that one. This tracking shot is actually scary. 80 damage to your opponent's bench for you. That has any damage counters on it. So now I'm gonna make him pay. No rare candies. No dodges. No switches. And no energy. So switch uh, switch should always be the first card you look for to discard with the make them pay attack because we want to keep them in the active spot we want to keep a, a docile pokemon in the active spot uh, and a heavy one or we can even make them heavy with Galarmine we can uh, make them we can stick them to the active spot with Galarmine that is, of course, if they don't have a Chaotic Swell or any other stating cards to displace that Galar Mine, which is very easy if they have any stadium cards in their deck. So I don't want to deck myself out, so I need to watch my the number of cards in my deck as well. That's a Heads, a Lucky Heads. Let's hope we have a Yell. Yep, we do have a Yell. So Yell actually help us increase the number of cards in their hand allowing us to discard with uh, make them pay so I'm just gonna make three because I can uh, that's our Persian, it's actually precious our uh, Pokemon cards are precious now because we have no more rods then again our rod could be in our price card so it really doesn't matter uh, let's discard the city wire So even if it's just 20, it does accumulate, it does pile up, and Splitting Arrow could actually knock out two bench Pokemons for uh, three price cards. Because 90 is uh, it's probably gonna kill our Persian in two turns, and then in three turns it's gonna take three price cards. Uh, it's a lot of turns, but you know, we need even more turns to deck them out. So the city Y is actually scary. It's actually dangerous. Uh, it's a dangerous enemy to our deck. So we need to discard them, make sure they don't evolve. And this is actually menacing as well. Gorman dies again. They're helping us. Uh, no more Galar mine though. Oh wait, we didn't have a Galar mine to begin with. But well, we get to displace that one because we don't want an orbital V Max out at all. Oh, we actually have a Pidgeot. Oh, we have no more PGs. My bad. So Pidgeotto is useless. We get to discard it. Uh, we have a Sonia already. Let's actually get a Fion. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's get a Fion and a Rhyhorn, maybe? Touch that one. Discard our Pidgeotto. And then make a um, pay. So no rare candies. I don't think they have any more DCD wise. Probably have rods though. So, uh, no energy. Yeah, that's fine. Your deck is quite, um, is quite beginner, beginner style deck. Because there's not really a set strategy, as you can see. Uh, lose cards, no combos, no pairs. Thank goodness. So it's actually a mild deck to be up against. So we can actually use our Exile now, we have 3 of it, thank uh, it's fortunate that we have 3 of it. So if we have a triple Exile, we can actually Exile now. I'm gonna look for a triple Exile. No Exiles. gonna charge it and look at their hand. I 
don't want to knock the snow legs out because I want it to stay in the active spot. Orbital is very powerful, we don't want it in the active spot. Alright, heal, that's fine. Heal again, that's fine. We're not gonna be knocking you out, don't worry, Lassie. Uh, triple XL. Persian stays. Should Persian stay or not? I don't think Persian is useful. So let's just waste that energy card. Uh, use that one. And then look for some more energy cards. myself out but I'm gonna have to draw cards. There we go, energy. Okay. Four energy attack costs if they have a twin they get to use body slam for a hundred and paralyze. Uh probable probable paralyze. Sorry. Possible paralyze. You only need to do twice more. Two more dirty works with exile. We even have a pull pad. Wow, we have three exiles and a pull pad in our deck in this game. And we had like three Pidgeotos, one Chinchino, two Chinchinos in the deck, two Rhydons, three Rhydons, two Rhyhorns. I'm, I wonder what's in our price card. <laughs> so we get to use. I can't use Sonia. No Sonia. Alright, that's good. So we got to discard our main Chino with Exile. Prepare our Rhyhorn. And then Dirty Work. Alright, we actually win the game already because they it's not possible for them to uh, draw six prize cards to knock six Pokemons in like a few turns. They could steal Marnie and score a few more turns, but it's really difficult now. There's six prize cards for like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in their hand and deck. There we go, Marnie. So we have to fish for that exile. We should have used our Paw Pad just now. Uh, so thank goodness we actually left our Chinchino on the bench, otherwise if we exiled it, we can't draw the right cards because they marnie us. So that's always a good practice to uh, keep your Chinchino alive until the very end. Uh, if you have only three, if you have four, then you get to discard one with exile. So let's go for another game because that one was a little too short. And also it was a beginner, so let's hope we are up against someone uh, more competitive. And let's hope we get a Sonia in the first turn. We need that Sonia. So we had two Sonias but no basic. Blastoise. I think they have a Blastoise V. A Blastoise deck deck box. And a regular deck sleeve. So we have Sonia, that's very good. Should I put a right horn actually? Arokuda. I think they have a Spiral Jet Barrascuda. Spiral Jet does 130 damage uh, for one energy cost but you need to discard two water energy from your hand 
to be able to use that attack. So I'm gonna get a Minchino because I have a Chinchino at hand. Let's check how many Pidgeotos we have. Three Pidgeotos. Should have gotten a Didine actually. Let's leave it. Sonia is the new Pokemon fan club with the added effect to allow you to choose whether you want to search for two basic Pokemon or two basic energy cards. Torrential Cannon, there we go, a Blastoise V. It's a pretty cool card, looks pretty cool. Whoopsie. We're gonna be discarding our Rhyhorn. Maybe use that one? Nope. So let's put the energy back. Put a Galar Mine on. Put the energy here. Let's check our discard pile, discard our hand, draw 6 cards, Giotto, We can actually rod our Rhyhorn and Persian, but we can't save our Galarmine. We can save our Team Yell if we have a paw pad. Oh, but we used it. We didn't discard our Team Yell, we used it. I'm gonna pick a paper. Oh, thank goodness. Pidgeotto They don't have a Barascuda yet, that's a very good that's good for us. Persian I'm just gonna pause the turn. Because I don't need that Persian Rhyhorn yet. So I'm just gonna leave it in the discard pile. I think the music is way too loud. For some reason, I'm hearing it very loudly. I think that's better. Hope that's better. Okay, they knock us out, we don't need to switch, <laughs> we don't have to waste energy for the switch, uh, for the retreat, my bad, we can't switch in this deck, we won't be doing any switches, let's hope we get a basic energy so we don't have to waste our, our twin, oh we have a Fion already, my bad, we could actually Fion right now. So 
So there we go with the bad thing about Chinchino is you can't you can't do anything if you need if you need to draw and you need to discard you need to really choose whether you want to discard a card from your hand or draw something. I'm probably gonna do that one. Because the Arakuda is stuck in the active spot and if they don't have a Barascuda or enough energies, then they can't do anything. Gym Trainer, I've never seen that before. Wow. First time. What what card is that? Champion's Path. I think it's Champion's Path. So let's discard their energies. Let them draw as much as they want, but no energies. So we are on a good run here. Let's hope they keep drawing and keep having no energies in their hand. We discarded a lot back there, five, and an energy retrieval. All right, they have energy. Not good. Persian. Second Persian. Maybe we can get a crushing hammer. We can actually discard our pigeon. Let's put our yell back, because I need those yells. Yellow. Let's make them pay. No energies. Uh, which one? Capacious bucket or that one? Let's do that. Make them draw more cards. So if they put their blessed toys out, then we have no choice but to find a space for our uh, Fion to push it back so that we get to stall them by pulling a heavy Pokemon out unless they have a stadium card, which they are not likely to have. Water decks, not, uh, water decks it's very unlikely for water decks to have stadium cards. So I'm not going to attack, I'm going to pass the turn because it would be a waste to use make em pay for uh, without discarding anything. And I'm not going to be using, I'm not going to be using my yell as well. Only use your yell if you can discard with make em pay, if you can add uh, to five or more cards in your hand, then use a yell. Otherwise, uh, you know, better not to unless your energy card system is uh, is heavily uh, heavily disturbed by using your yell. Then go ahead. But if not, then better to use it when you can discard something from their hand. So I can actually discard, but. It would be useless because I would be knocking them out. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna do that because at least no more Barascuda, right? They could have a Barascuda Rebel Clash, which is very dangerous. Let's see if our hammer works. Let's airmail again first. Heads. Tails.
keep discarding the water okay that's good because they're gonna have to charge recharge their blastoise to use torrential cannon or they can even oh 30 is not gonna be enough so they have to use torrential cannon they might have a boss's order though If they have a boss's order, the Dean is gonna be, you know, code raid for the Dean because it's just 160 and it's GX. They get to draw two price cards, they get to accelerate their price card draw, which is not good for us. Oh my god, that was unexpected. They use Water Gun. Because if they use Torrential Cannon, they can't use it next turn, I see. So we can actually retreat and use our Persian just to stall them even more but I don't think we're gonna do that I'm gonna Pidgeotto twice and then Sharp Claws 90 It's not looking good for them because of Galarmine. Thanks to Galarmine, we actually get to stall them by a lot. But they still have 28 cards in their deck and they are not drawing cards. So that's actually a bad thing for us. So time to get our Rhyhorns out. Charge it. Second right horn. Uh, make them pay. Let's look at their hand. All right. They're probably gonna use torrential cannon. Oh, we should have we should have used Fion. Oops, my bad. I forgot to use Fion. Ah, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Shit. Or at least we get to stall them for one turn because they can't do anything with torrential cannon. So we're gonna Fion later, we're not gonna be putting a Rhyhorn, we're gonna be Fioning, oh we actually could. So Exile, Rhyhorn, and then Attach an Energy, get something, hopefully a... Uh, what's the word? Meowth. No Meowth. No Rod, no Meowth. Ah, oh, I should have used Fion. What was I thinking? I just wasted a turn there. And we wasted our Paul Pad on on yells okay they are drawing that's good if we have two twice more if we can do two more uh, dirty works that might help but they have a lot of cards in their hand so they could steal Marnie which is bad for us So Fiona is useless now because this is fully charged.
Let's hope this works. I'm going to be putting two Fionns and another Pidgeotto. If they have a boss's order, we are done for. Well, actually, they have a switch and boss's order. Okay, that's good. Oh, we actually won the game! I can't believe we won the game! They hop. They shouldn't have used hop. So they made a mistake and we made a mistake. They used hop. We forgot to use Fion. Oh, thank goodness. If I had used that Fion, it would have been easier. Like, I forgot to use the Fion to push back that Blastoise V. And because of that, my Persian got knocked out and it became much, much more difficult. Because that was my last exile, so it was actually very, very close. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. It features our Rhydon from Unbroken Bonds with a dirty work attack and our Star Persian from Team Up Expansion, which is the oldest expansion that is allowed in the standard deck, with the Make em Pay attack. We are not using Diglett in this deck because uh, Diglett actually doesn't do much. It only allows you to add one extra card to this card from the top card of your opponent's deck. So it doesn't do much and it really, it's actually better to have a Gossifler even in this deck because uh, Gossifler allows us to get out those Chinchinos and Pidgeotos fast, which is the only, which is the best way to get out the right cards that we need for a Rhydon deck. For a Rhydon standard deck to work, it is better to have Pidgeotos than other supporter cards, unless you are planning on using Lieutenant Surge to allow you to use Giovanni's Exile and other supporter cards to uh, reset your hand and prepare for the next Giovanni's Exile, prepare for the next Dirty Work, prepare for the next Rhyhorn Energy Cards, Evolution Cards, and all the, uh, all the setups that you need. You know, it's really difficult to use Giovanni's Exile and then to prepare for the next turn it is virtually impossible unless you get to use another supporter card. You know, uh, which we are not planning to do with this deck. Instead of using a supporter card, we are using Pokemon's ability to draw out the right cards. And we are also using only three Giovanni's Exile. We also only have three Giovanni's Exile and one Paul Pad in this deck, mainly because we are not really focusing on, we are not focusing so much on discarding our opponent's deck 
from the get-go, from the beginning of the game. We are focusing on doing that at the end, at the very, very end of the game, when they have only 10 or 5 cards left in their deck, meaning we only need to use Dirty Work with, this, with its bonus effect of discarding 5 cards from the top card of your opponent's deck once or twice. We are not intending to use it more than, uh, more than uh, 3 times. You know, maximum three times is enough because make them pay is gonna is gonna do all the work for us. It's gonna force our opponent to draw all the cards, to deck themselves out, to search for the right cards, to keep uh, to keep trying to maintain their balance, to keep trying to charge their Pokemon back up. Team Yell, Galarmine, Fion, all of those are gonna is gonna help us stall them and is gonna help us. Uh, force them to draw cards until they have very few cards in their deck left and they are not going to be expecting a Giovanni's Exile ride on they are not going to be expecting dirty works until the very end of the game because we are not going to give it off unless, unless we have to with the DTNG GX unless we have to discard some cards from our hand if we have to discard uh, our Giovanni's Exile with a Dedean GX or if we have to discard Dedean GX with a Giovanni's Exile sometimes we have to do that because we have to empty out our bench to be able to put new cards in there uh, so if we have to discard all of the cards if we have to give off the fact that we are using Giovanni's Exile to deck them out then we have no choice but basically it's better not to give it out at the early on in the game or even in the middle of the game it's better to use a Rhyhorn, Rhydon, Giovanni's Exile or to show those cards only when you're using it at the very very end of the game so that it po it shocks them by surprise and it hits them by surprise and when you do that you get to discard the very few the very last few cards of your opponent's deck for the win and that sets you up for victory so that's very important to use it at the end at the very very end of the game so that is why we don't have that many exiles we don't have four and we don't have that many paw pads we only have one and we only have one ordinary rod as well, and that's because we have three of each Persians, Meowth, Rhydons, and Rhyhons. We don't need that many, as I said. We only need two Rhydons. So that is why we have a rod, just in case we only have one Rhydon and one Rhyhorn, or two Rhyhorns and a Rhydon in the deck. If we only have one Rhydon to use in our deck, then we get to shuffle it back with our uh, ordinary rod, prepare the next Rhyhorn, and uh, evolve the next turn perhaps you know uh, so rod really helps so that's what i'm trying to say it, just in case any one or two ends up in the price card we get to use rod to shuffle it back and we also actually need a lot of persians at least two from the beginning and throughout the whole game we need more than two persians actually to make sure that we get to stall our opponent as much as possible as long as possible until they draw themselves to death so that is all for this deck. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it is a very. Uh, it, it took a long time to find the right cards to fit this uh, ride on card because it is very difficult to make it work. It is virtually impossible in the standard format because it is so so confining. You have to use a supporter card and you uh, you have to evolve it. You have to use a twin energy. You have to do so many things and it's very difficult to retreat it. As you can see, it's four energy retreat cost. So it's it's very difficult. Like <laughs> it's a it's a very difficult card to make a deck out of. So if you get to uh, opt if you get to modify if you get to make your own version of a ride on deck, please show it to us in the comments below. Uh, in the comment section and uh, also if you have any feedback questions or any challenges that you want to give to us you can you're welcome to do so in the comment section below as well and you can also check the description uh, the description box for any promo codes or any deck list updates or any more further info about Pokemon TCGO and don't forget to use up your uh, uh, players cup qualifier tournament keys uh, in the event section let me briefly show it right here We'll also be showing, we'll also be recording some Player Cup tournament uh, battles in our future videos. So join us for that. We can't join as yet because this is our side account, as I keep saying. Our main account is suspended because of uh, inappropriate language, but we'll make sure we never get suspended again. So uh, uh, it, it, the suspension gets lifted in a few, uh, in two or three more days. And once it gets lifted, I'll be showing some Player Cup tournament players cup battles 
So join us for that and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to see more interesting videos, to learn more cool new combos and remember to keep playing, keep having fun, make your own cool new decks, be creative with this game, it is just a game, have fun with it, if you lose you gain more experience, you get better and it's always a good practice to go for the theme deck, to go to theme tournaments, uh, to enhance your gameplay, to boost your gameplay because gameplay is very important. All the tiny little decisions that you make during the game, it matters. Uh, how long you and and the, the timing also matters because obviously in a tournament there is a limited time, so you need to be fast. But also you can't be too fast because sometimes, this the the even one tiny even one small mistake, it can set you up to fail the entire game. It can destroy the entire game. Or if you make just the right just the right uh, card combos if you just made the right decision combos you can really put it can pull you out of the gutter so sometimes it really depends on the gameplay sometimes it depends on your deck list formation sometimes it depends on your luck you know I, I, I would it would it's better not to rely on luck for me I don't like to have a lot of crushing hammers in my deck unless unless I have to uh, I don't like to have turbo patches, I don't like to have uh, coin flip decks, I don't like coin flipping decks because it really puts your luck, it really makes you rely on luck and I don't like to rely on luck, I like to rely on strategy. So if you can rely on strategy, do that, it's better, <laughs> but if you if you're a lucky person, then go for luck. So that's all for this video, hope you enjoyed it, join us for the next one and have a nice day, bye for now Pokey people!